A big welcome to today's podcast sponsor, NordVPN. Uh, we've been partnering with NordVPN for quite some time now. You guys love it, and I've been using it for many, many years. It seems like the perfect partner. NordVPN is a virtual private network. It is the fastest VPN on the planet, and it makes your internet browsing very, very safe with just one click. I'm sure many of you already use it. Uh, I certainly do and have been for a very long time. The reason I love NordVPN is I'm working out and about lots. Um, I was at Selhurst Park on Tuesday night. I was abroad last month working on TNC stuff. So I'm on different internet browsers all of the time and I need all of that to be incredibly safe. With NordVPN, it's super, super quick. With one click, you're safe. It also means when you're abroad and you're wanting to get um, all of the Norwich games or watch certain sporting events, you can change your territory to whatever that requires. It also makes watching things like Netflix incredibly easy because if there's a show that you can't watch in the UK but you can in America, well, simple, just change it over. NordVPN are offering a super, super discount. You can get four months for free plus a hugely reduced rate when you purchase two years with NordVPN. The link is in the description. Simply go through that TNC link and you can pick up that super discount right away. Hello, it's Future Jack here. Uh, that link is www.nordvpn.com forward slash City. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this one. Thanks to NordVPN. And back to the podcast. Well, a very warm welcome back to the TNC podcast. Uh, some people said it's an evolution. This is a revolution at Norwich City at the moment. Chris Reeve. <laughs> oh, I want to dance careful. with Slimani. Coffee. I want to feel the heat with Slimani. Yeah, I want to dance with Slimani. With Slimani, who loves me? It's almost funny, isn't it, Chris? I mean, the last time I saw Slimani was uh, the previous Saturday coming on for Sheffield yes. United. Who would have yeah. thought a week on would be chanting his name? Yeah. We'd be thinking, you One know, of us. we're winning the league. Is it happening? It Is could, something happening you know, I here? I oh, the, the calendar needs turning over. Yeah, pinch punch. Or first of the... Is it the first? Second of the well, month. Well, the second, so that's bad, bad luck. luck yeah. um, so we have had Ben Gibson on the front of the calendar for August. I, I assume it's going to be... It's got to be like Sergeant or someone. Well, I don't know. But let's turn it over for September. <laughs> Here we go. We've got Sam McCallum. Oh, excellent. Sheffield United, Sam McCallum. He sits she on the <laughs> Sheffield United, Sam excellent. McCallum. Another absolute blinder Fanta from the yeah. Norwich City calendar team. Well done to the Norwich City calendar team. <laughs> um, um, anyway, right, so we won 1 0 against Coventry. Yeah, that was good. That's a good result, isn't it? So much has happened, Chris, in the last um, week or so. Uh, you were being investigated by Norfolk Constabulary. Uh, yes. For an abduction case. <laughs> But you've been let off. Worked, didn't it? It did work. It did work. So you locked Josh Sargent in the cellar house basement. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he could be sold. But, but then also, funnily enough, Johannes Hoff Turp said in his, uh, in his uh, press that he also locked Sargent in his <laughs> Poor basement. Guy. And then also, I think Huckabee said he locked him in his wine cellar. So he's been in all sorts of basements recently, Sargent. Of course Huckabee has a wine cellar. Oh, of course he does. And I bet he doesn't even drink the wine. Yeah, of course Look he does. It. That is not a man that drinks wine. I've got this. I've got this He's sort ripped. of yeah. I've got this sort of vision of like this sort of really fancy modern electrical. You know, it needs like three wheels to get in, <laughs> and it sort of like it registers his face. You know. Anyway, a Huckabee wine cellar. Um, we won one nil. Yeah. Mark Robbins in tears. Yeah. Happy days again. Standard. Is that um, we like Mark Robbins, don't we? Well, or do we not? I think like I, him I think I'm falling out of love with him. <laughs> Are you yeah. quickly? I thought um, I, I thought his post match comments mm? were. Hang on, right, let's... So, so much to get through before yeah. we get to Mark Robinson's yes. comments. <laughs> let's, let's breathe, deep breaths, and let's try and stay calm. Okay? Let's try and stay calm. We've got new merch. Yes. Do you like Oasis? Do you? No, I'm asking you. Oh, sorry, you? I thought that was a rhetorical question well, to our audience. can be as well. Yeah, I like a bit of Oasis. Yeah. yeah. Were you in the scramble to get tickets? No, I wasn't. So I don't, no. I don't, I don't love them. No. I like them, though. Do you know what my theory is? I've got a little theory. The cool. Oasis theory, I'm calling it. Right. People don't actually like Oasis as much as they think. They love the nostalgia that it brings. Yes. Yes. I mean, much like you with this um, the, po Pony Coleman well, show. Well, the amazing thing with this Coleman, this is, um, this is all for show because I wasn't even like... Real. Yeah. I, well, I, I think I was... A, what year is this? Like 19... Well, I think that one, the old I boys, think I was still in nappies. The Bovril boys won't be happy with this. 
Um, I think that might be 1991 to two. No, it wasn't that. Early. Well, I right. Well, I had 93 to four. Right. Hang on. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Forgive me. That's really embarrassing. No. It's not. So 90, 93 is the was cre- egg and crest. Egg and crest. Yeah. So that must be. I think it's like late nineties. I'm pretty sure you and Seven? Roberts won this. Not my sure. best mate, you and Roberts. That was my first Norwich shirt, and I was six. So that would be. Hang on, maths. Ninety three. Yeah, ninety nine. Yeah, so about 90, yeah. 98, 99. So I was right. About two minutes ago. Um, so I was still in nappy. So this isn't for. I don't. I get no nostalgia from this. The only yeah, so it was it was top of the pile basically. Anyway, I think people love Oasis because it reminds them of you know they were probably in their early twenties. The good old days. They, the good old days, Chris. Yeah. And now they go, oh, I can pay two hundred and fifty quid to go and watch them at Wembley Stadium. I'll do that. Yeah. Right. And fair enough. Anyway, so we've got some Oasis. Yes. TNC merch, haven't you, we? You can buy ten of the new Oasis NCFC. TNC merch for the same it would cost you to go. So you may as well just buy the merch. To buy one of them. And it and says and it says definitely NCFC. Yeah. It's it's a class class design. Stephen yeah. Lister, well done, mate. Yeah. The brains behind TNC, Stephen Lister. Yeah, so there you go. Um, and there's loads of other bits on yeah. there, including the classic Borja sign yeah. shirt. And of course, he scored against Coventry. I have um, given him some banter. It wasn't the best of finishes, was it? But it doesn't matter. Well, it was a one it went, off their defender. It went... <laughs> into the net. It went into the back of the net. And and, and also a quick shout out on the uh, on the Bo- Signs t-shirt, right? So, <laughs> you'll laugh at this. And, and just, just on. seriously on the merch. Go on. They are genuinely like really nice t-shirts to wear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. But they're yeah. good quality. Yeah, obviously, yeah. I would be wearing it if yeah. not. And um, so... Oh, this is excellent. Freddie Stewart. Yeah. From our a good friend of the channel, Mark. Yeah, but you'll laugh at this, oh. right? So, right. Oh, so, you didn't know who it was, did you? No. Ah. So, Fr- Freddie. Freddie. Friend of the channel. Freddie Stewart. Friend, a legend. Friend of the channel. Big, big time rugby boy. Well, you can't right? call him friend of the channel. You didn't even know who he was. <laughs> you just called him friend of the channel, so I'm calling him friend of the channel. Okay. Anyway, Mark James posts. Fre- he is friend of the channel. I go to away games with Mark. Right. Hello, Mark. He posts a picture of the Freddie Stewart yep. at Coventry yep. in his Borja Signs t-shirt yep. with his thumbs up, loving life. Yep. That's, that's quite cute. Some <laughs> some bloke called Freddie is, is wearing the Borja Signs t-shirt. It later transpires he's a famous England rugby player. Yeah. So, uh, hello, Freddie. Thank you for your support. Um, and by the way, Borja Signs loves the Borja Signs t-shirt. Do you not well. like rugby? Uh, I, I really respect rugby. <laughs> Rugby is a proper sport. Yeah. It's a proper sport, and I really respect anyone that plays it. Mm. And I think to watch, it's really entertaining. And it's by far, mm. by far, are you trying to turn me down whilst I... <laughs> I was turning you yeah, down okay. ever so slightly. Um, uh, yeah, I, it's by far a better sport than cricket. I assume you, Easily you saw that Joe Root overtook Alistair Cook for the most I mean, I just, test centuries for England at I mean, the weekend. One word. Joe Root, England legend. Tragic. England legend. I don't care. Do you it's know who Joe Root is? No. Sounds like a, you don't know who Joe Root it is? It sounds like a vegetable I pick up at the Morrison's Veg Isle. <laughs> yeah, a Joe Root just to put in your, your warm casserole. Right, anyway. Um, That's rugby um, people offended, <laughs> cricket people offended. No, Should I, we offend the people of Coventry as well? I really respect Yeah, go on. Paddy Davitt, should we offend him? The Paddy Davitt derby is uh, Connor Southwell, uh, mm. I think, posted. I saw a lot of people on... Um, have you seen Paddy Davis' sunglasses? Poor old Paddy, by the way. Don Paddy, people are calling him. He's not seen some... Don... <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Don Paddy. The sun... Did you see the sunglasses? He looked <laughs> like he was in the bloody Italian mafia. <laughs> I love that. Don Paddy. Um, right, so, Coventry. No circus, that. Easy. Well, I wouldn't say it was easy, Chris. Should we be serious for a few minutes? I know, I thought it was comfortable. <laughs> Come on. No, I thought we were in control. One shot on target, Chris. I just always felt like we had control of the game. There was only a couple of flashes where Coventry had a half chance. I think Ellis Sims almost thought he just completely air kicked it at one point. But there was never a point where I was like, Had you run like behind? Ooh. Ooh, Co- ooh Coventry. Ooh. Yeah. Fine. Um, and that's really encouraging because they are an absolute shoe in for the playoffs this season, Coventry. Are they? Yeah, they'll get in there. Do you think? Yeah, they'll get in there. I think the the most pleasing thing... So, Kenny McLean said after the Sheffield United draw... Was that last week? Yeah. So much has happened. Last week. It feels like four years ago. Anyway, he said, and I love this from Kenny McLean. He said, I'm seeing improvement 
on a daily basis. Mm. And I thought, oof. I thought, oof, that... Did that get you on going? On a daily basis. Do you not like seeing daily improvements? No, no, I absolutely do, right? So I thought, right, okay. And then, and then I was at Selhurst Park on Tuesday. Yep. On, on Canary Call Duties. Loved it. Do like Selhurst Park. I think it gets a bad name. But I like it around there. I like the Palace fans. Good club. They, they thumped us, 4-0. Yeah. But even in that, and I was a bit confused, Chris. I was walking out of um, Croydon, thinking to myself, I quite enjoyed that. It's, that was weird, wasn't it? I quite enjoyed that. Yeah. I just lost 4-0. Yeah. So I've got the angel in my, in my head and the devil in my head going, oh, that was a 4-0. Oh, not great. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a bit of Encouraging, yeah. So I thought, okay, take that performance into Saturday's game and we've got a chance. Right, and that's exactly what happened. And it felt like a big win because um, going into an international break now, really looking forward to seeing Carsley ball for England. Not, um, um, so we've got a couple of weeks of that game. Yeah, and we still haven't won in the league, and it felt like we deserved to win in the league. Blackburn I thought yeah. it was a good performance. Sheffield United I thought it was a good yeah, performance. Could have won that. Coverway, oh tough one. Yeah. Hello, three points. Hello, something building here. I think something's happening. Yeah, something's happening to me. Seriously, yeah, I think Hofball is starting to take flight. Mm. The Danish destroyer mm. has left. Something's port. happening, happening to me, and it's Ben Slimani. <laughs> oh, he's good. We'll get on to him. In a yeah, minute. we will. Um, so it did make me giggle going back to Mark Robbins. Finally, yes, we're doing this in a funny order. We good, hope good, this is a very good, funny order. Good luck keeping up this week, folks. Um, it's because we haven't won in like a league game in seemingly so long that we don't we now mm. don't know how to react. He said after the game, mm. what did he say? Well, I don't know. I've, I've screenshotted. Oh it for right, you. you're teeing me up there. I'm just Mark Robbins, because you were obviously loud today. And Mark Robbins said this: Karen Doyle has left one on Tatsu Sakamoto and hurt his ankle, and absolutely nothing oh, happens. Oh, oh, oh. Um, a couple of comments from Mark Robbins there about the treatment on Sakamoto. It was a look. We obviously now we're leading the um, leading the movement in football analytics. Um, yeah, we are. Opta yeah. is now no longer a thing. People come to TMC for football analytics. And our new um, metric that we use is XP. Yeah. If you haven't heard of XP, it's expected passion. Yeah. XG is no longer a thing. It's all about XP. Make passion Correct. great again, Chris yes. Reeve. Yes. The XP chart was nearly broken when Callum Doyle went into yeah. Sakamoto. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the passion scale, the <laughs> old thing was breaking. Yeah. We were at breaking point for passion. It was almost too much passion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Well, Sakamoto clearly thought it was because yeah. he hobbled uh, off in a protected boot. So I just need to comment on this. Mark Robbins, come on, mate. Like, you're a Norwich boy. Mm. We know you are. Yeah, one day you might be the Norwich manager. Maybe. I was like, that. that is just... Uh, all I think about straight away is, do you want any chips with your salt? <laughs> what a nonsensical comment to come out with. It was just that's just a shit excuse for losing mm. because the minimum on the pitch is you fight, mm. you show desire, you run, and you you try and push that XP, that expected passion, as much as possible mm. without overdoing yeah. it. His team didn't turn up, mm. and Huckabee, former Coventry yeah. player, said that himself. So, Mark Robbins, I'm a bit disappointed in in, in that post match comment. I thought it was it was. Um, Tragic, to be honest with you. That's my seem, seem like my word of the podcast. Well, it was. It was tragic. Okay. If my manager came out with that, I'd be like, "Well, fire your players up more." Mm. And and I tell you, so that t- that tackle from Callum Doyle. Let's talk about Callum Doyle, shall we? Da, 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 da. Callum Doyle. Da, 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 da. Well, it's it's confusing, Chris. How, uh, the, the confusing thing here is why is he not playing in the Premier League? I don't know. I actually don't know. Maybe I, he will be with us next season. Well, I think well, Leicester should have bought him. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. I mean, he, honest, honestly, never fall in love with a lone player. It's too late. Mm. I'm in love mm. again. Ollie Skip Mark two. <laughs> yeah. Callum Doyle, what a boy! And that tackle, by the way, on that Cov player. <sighs> and do you know what? It wasn't. It wasn't actually just the tackle. Yeah. I thought the tackle couldn't get me any more going. Yeah. I was already there. Loving it, yeah, right. And afterwards, he don't screams yeah. to the Norwich fans as well. Yeah, I, I thought was... at one point he was going to rip the crest yeah. from his shirt. Yeah, good. Callum Doyle, what a boy! He didn't just get the ball; mm. he got a bit of meat on mm. the bone. <laughs> and I love a challenge, right? Yeah, gets just a bit of meat on the mm. bone. 
But it was completely fair. Yeah. To be clear, it was a completely fair challenge. And anyone that doesn't think it was a fair challenge is part of the soulless Varkley's Premier League modern day football bollocks. <laughs> it was a perfectly good tackle from Callum Doyle. Um, Callum Doyle, I think the great thing with Callum Doyle is he likes meat on the bone. Yeah. But there's also this nuance about him. Right. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a cultured left foot about him. Yeah. He's not just, you know, break people and lump it long. Yeah. He's not, He'll yeah, break he's people yeah. and then find a pass. Yes. And that's what really excites Even you about better. Callum Doyle. Yeah. And I am putting it out there. He's Come not on. a left back. He's a centre back. You're now saying centre No, no, no. I've been saying it since Oxford. Okay. Oxford, I saw shoots of goodness. Yeah. Right? I thought, I saw I saw the passion. The yeah. XP was off the charts. Yeah. I, I, but I looked at him and I thought, mm, you, you can see straight away he's not Send a left back. back. Okay. He's not quick enough. Well, I don't um, know about that. And, and actually, we've got a really good left back in, in Ben Crescene. Yeah, fair. Yeah, fair. Right, so that balanced yeah. defence, I think, is, is looking good. Clean sheet away from home. Callum Doyle, brilliant. And, le- and let's just go, let's just do another tangent. Let's just kind of work through the defence. Okay. I'm going to say something which is, is probably an unsexy thing to say. Okay. But I'm going to say it. Yeah, go on then. I thought Shane Duffy was absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah, I'd I agree thought, with you. I thought Shane Duffy had a really, really good game against Coventry. I actually thought he had a really, really good game against Sheffield he United did. as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he deserves his flowers. Yeah. It was a really, really good and, performance. And, and, and by the way, he would have been disappointed in a, in a funny sort of way at the Coventry game because, of course, he had the first chance. I think it was in, within the first 10 minutes. He got, yeah, his, had a, he got his big Irish skull on the yeah, end of it yeah. and just hit the roof of the net. He's had a couple of near misses this season. Um, I thought he was good against Sheffield United, but that was an interesting one because he was up against Kiefer Moore. And if there's any type of player that Shane Duffy's going to excel against, it's Kiefer Moore. Yeah. Big, lumpy chap. Yeah, you yeah. know, Win the headers. Coventry are a little bit more kind of cultured than that. <laughs> Uh, and I was interested to see how he got on because I thought the big call of the day was starting um, Duffy over Cordoba. Cordoba obviously played okay. against Palace and yeah. I thought it was very good. Yeah. Um, so that was an interesting one. Yeah, well, I it, it, it paid good. off. And the other one I want to big up because he's been getting a lot of criticism online. That, not a lot. He's been getting some criticism by perhaps a vocal minority. Um, is Jack Stacey. Uh, but let me just step in there. Oh, go on. Because I don't think it's necessarily criticism of Stacey. It's how good Fisher's looked. Oh, and, and, okay. and I think there's an interesting and, and people are suddenly angle. going, oh, maybe Stacey isn't just a shoe in for right back. All right, fair enough. I, I, well, I, I've read what I perceive as criticism of specifically Jack Stacey. So either way, yeah. and I, I, I like the way you've gone with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Kellen Fisher, by the way, hello, I'm dead comfortable with. Uh, uh, honestly, Jack Stacey, Kellen Fisher, fine. Let's I, have that battle. I, I, I'm I happy think, with that. I think there's a reason why he's not starting, and I don't think it's football related. Sock related, <laughs> Kellen. You will start football matches if you pull your socks. <laughs> I saw a photo. It was excellent against Palace, right? I forgot Absolutely your thing excellent. about socks. I, ge- I genuinely don't think there's a shin pad in there. Well, well have let's you, have a word with Kellen. Have you seen those shin pads now? Oh, They're it's literally like, Chris. yeah. And then they want, and then they wonder why they keep getting injured. It's embarrassing. Jack Stacey, Super Jack Stacey, Ole Ole. Where's proper socks? What a performance it was away against Coventry. Um, really assured. Did his defensive duties well. Few statistics on Jack Stacey's performance. Hit me. He won 100% of his aerial duels. Wow. And I didn't really think Jack Stacey was an, you know, an in-the-air type defender, essentially. But no, ticks that box. Yep. 90% accurate passes. Ticks that box. Mm. Two-headed clearances. Two chances created. Two blocked shots. Four clearances. Four recoveries, right? Wow. And he actually had a chance. And I think Norwich fans will agree with me on this. Or I think most of them will. Yeah. He actually probably could have got a shot away and, and arguably maybe even scored. So he gets in good areas. Super Stacey. Jack Stacey Ole Ole, really happy for him. Really happy for him. I thought the defence looked comfortable and in control for the majority of the and, and we have to mention Angus Gunn because the reason we gloss over Angus Gunn, there are a couple of big saves in that game. It, it's just standard for him now. Yeah. He's, he's the championship's best goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. I agree, actually. And um, and actually, I think you, you put Sargent in the list of, wow, incredible to keep hold of him. I said it at the start. Of the yeah, you said before. Angus, yeah. You've yeah. got to keep hold of Angus Gunn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to throw anyone under the bus here, but the goalkeeping performance of Tuesday night, and I'm not going to mention who. It wasn't ideal. Angus Gunn, miles ahead of our second choice and miles ahead of the, 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 the average... Um, uh, level in this division. He's yes. a top class goalkeeper. Yes. So, um, yeah, all round, away against Coventry, fantastic performance. We now go away to Sheffield, uh, to Sheffield City. 
to Swansea City. I need another coffee. To Swansea, Sw- Swansea City. Yeah, no, Swansea. Oh, I'm losing my no, mind. No, no, it's Swansea City. To Swansea, yeah. with the wind in our sails of the Danish yeah. destroyer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Confidence. Yeah. And I, do you know what? Most people aren't buzzing about an international break. This time, in these circumstances, I'm quite up for it. Why? Because I think the Hoff's going to get through a lot more of his oh. philosophy, embedding it within to the lads, mm. trying out maybe some new systems, some different styles and stuff. I, I, I really, I'm, I'm, I couldn't be more optimistic at the moment, Jack. I couldn't be more optimistic. I, I have... Wow. Got pure belief in this manager, in this group of players, and and I think it's as simple as this: write Norwich City off at your peril. And I quite like it. Mm. Write us off. Keep writing us off. Mm. Keep writing us off, and we'll show you. Mm. I quite like the fact we're the underdogs. I quite like the fact that no one really knows what to expect no. of Norwich City. But I tell you what, you can expect. Nor do we. Nor- well, I tell you what, what you can expect of Norwich City. Tell now. me. Nasty Norwich City. Oh. No more nice Norwich City. We are now nasty Norwich City because the challenge is coming in. And by the way, we've spoken about Callum Doyle. Let's go all in now on the, on, on um, Anis Slimani. But by the way, we speak about tackles. Yeah. Did you see the one on the 90th minute where it was literally just a, an absolute battering yeah. ram? Yeah. An absolute battering ram. And no, absolutely no interest in getting the no. ball. And do you know what, Anis? Good. I loved it. Yeah. It, it, honestly, it was brilliant. Uh, for me, it was the highlight of the game. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. And you know the thing that really gets me excited about Anis Ben Slimani? Yeah, go on. I mean, you look at his, his CV. His new chant. You look at his CV. Yeah. Played for um, Bromby. Tunisia so many times. Has won the um, league in, in Denmark. Has worked under the Hannes Hoff Torp. You go, oh, £20 million pound player. Right? Yeah. We've absolutely mugged Sheffield United off. Yeah. And Sheffield United fans were going, oh, well, take yeah. him, take him, take him. Well, actually, Sheffield United fans, let's have a look at this, right? This poor chap has played in one of the worst Premier League teams of all time. Mm. Stat f- facts. Yeah, you can't argue with that. Yeah. I don't care about your feelings, yeah, right? You can't argue facts. with that. Yeah. Played in the wrong system under Chris Wilderball. Right, okay, so let's take let's take it, right? Proper coach now. Yeah. Johannes Hoff Torup. Yeah. Let's throw him in with some proper players. Yeah. Properly coached. Yeah. And that's what happens. Instant. Let's change the game. By the way, instant. Anis Ben Slomani, player. I love how versatile and also, he is. 23. What? Hang on, he's, he's 23. 23. He's not 23. Honestly. Are you looking at the right player? No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. he's not. That's not him. Trust me. No, that's not him. That is... Slomani is 23 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw him and I thought, oh, we've signed a 35-year-old veteran. He's 23, mate. He, he, he looks like he'd go to war for you. Yeah. He looks like a weathered... Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what the most Good. exciting thing is here? Good. He was the oldest player we signed this summer and he's 23. Wow. Brilliant. He was Absolutely born in brilliant. 2001. Love it. Absolutely love it. Ben, Anis Ben Slamane. Mm. And by the way, what a new chant as well. Oh, on a dance with Slamane. Oh, you can see, can't you? With Slamane. Middle of November. Yeah, the skies are grey. It's raining. We're, I don't know, we're in Cardiff or something. With Slamane. Who loves Foster's me? getting launched everywhere and we're just singing <sighs> Slamane. You tell you, I'll tell you what else really excites singing me. Singing Slamane. Couple of things excite me. The substitutions. Yeah, at half time. I was about to say that we also need to give Hoff massive credit, huge credit. He changed the game, Chris. He changed the game, and do you know it's about bloody time? <laughs> not, 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 not Hoff Turup. No, that a Norwich manager yeah. can see what the supporters are yeah. seeing. It's not working. Don't fuck about with yeah. it any longer. Make the changes. Yeah. It's not personal. Yeah. yeah? We know that Amanqua Forsen is going to be one of the best players for us this season. Yeah, yeah? We, we 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 know that. We know that sometimes different players in, against different oppositions. Yeah, love it. Yeah, love it. Under Farker, towards the end especially, no plan B. Dean Smith. I mean, where do you go with that? And David Wagner, same situation. Don't dilly dally. Mm. Johannes Hofturup, he can see exactly what's going on. Yeah, make the changes at half yeah. time. Instantly yeah. worked. Yeah. And Oscar Schwartau, by the oh. way. Oh, yeah. You talk about yeah. You got you got Anis Slim, Slimani in there, right? But Oscar Schwartau, yeah. Yeah. Just put a bit of the old Oscar yeah. Schwartau on that plate, yeah? <laughs> yeah. This is getting into a delicious dish now, isn't it? Eighteen years old, mate. Eighteen years old, mate. What? I mean, 
came on against Crystal Palace. How have other clubs, how have bigger clubs not seen Oscar Schwartow and gone, let's sign him? Yeah, I mean, he he's the one that's really getting me excited. Is he getting you going? Big time. Because you you know you sign eighteen year olds don't you and you go oh, chuck them in the academy and we'll you know mature them we'll, we'll marinate them for a bit and, <laughs> right we'll marinate them <laughs> we'll marinate them and let's hope we don't burn them on the barbecue right? <laughs> well Oscar Schwartow Oscar Schwartow has been marinated for, for a bloody long time yeah. and he's delicious yeah. but the best thing Ooh, is hoo, hoo. yeah but the best thing is Johannes Hoff Turp's the best cook for the job. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, the yeah. best chef for the job, yeah. Ainsley Harriet, come yeah. on down. You've not got a Chrissy Wilder that's just got it, put him in the fucking roasting tray and mm. slammed him in the oven. Mm. You've got a Johannes Hoff Turp that's, you know, putting the right seasoning with it, you know, you know, marinating it well, a little pan fry. Yeah. Oh, no, that's too long. Yeah. It's just all oh, so much control over and it. And there's a lot of ingredients here. Yeah. Right? There's a lot of ingredients. You've got a little Forsen, Forsen of Anqua. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little spice over here. Yeah. Big old Cordoba, big yeah, overpowering yeah, yeah. spice. Yeah. Shane Duffy, a little bit chaotic, but nice but, to have him in there. For her signs, he's Borja the chili. Signs, you know he's the chili. Bit of chili, then you've got a bit of sweetness. You've got yeah. Kenny McLean. He's the kind yeah. of, he's the he's the, the um, engine room. He, he's the, what's a Scottish herb? Um, the, uh, well, I'll go thyme or, or, or something like that. I was like thinking that. slightly different. I was thinking what? butter. Every, <laughs> right? Butter. Every dish needs butter. Yeah. Butter makes everything better. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. And then you've got Joshy Sargent. I don't know what he is, but bloody hell, he's good. Well, he's just a bloody he's... pork joint, isn't he? <laughs> he's the meat, isn't he? And, and, I'm, and I'm suddenly, Chris, I've got the, fo- I've got the starting 11 in front yeah. of me. And you're, and you're thinking, this is a five-star Michelin restaurant. <sighs> Looking at it, I'm thinking, who stops us? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! We haven't even talked. We haven't even spoken yeah, about but, 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 our anti Cena. Let's fucking talk about this. Yeah. Who does stop us? <laughs> Probably Swansea in a couple of weeks. No, but... they don't. No, <laughs> no, they don't. Mm. They shouldn't. I love what I'm looking at here. Mm. I'm actually. I'll be honest. I'll be really honest with the viewers. I don't like it when you're honest. I'm trying to be critical. Mm. I'm. I'm trying. I've gone through the team. I've looked at the performance. I'm trying to be critical. Everywhere I look, yeah. it's working. Mm. Off the pitch, on the pitch. We had one shot on target against Coventry, and yet we're talking about this game as if we won four or five nil. Yeah, but I think I think there's a reason for that, right? The performances have been consistently good now. Yeah. Blackburn, Sheffield United, Palace, yeah. um, Coventry. Yeah. I think we've been good in all of them, and yeah. we've tried different things, and, yeah. we're, and we're experimenting, bit of spice here, bit of spice there. All the dishes have tasted nice, right? Yeah. So we're looking at this, and, and, and Connor Southwell, Southall, described, and he, he found the word that I've been looking for. It's been on the tip of my tongue for yeah, weeks. I would expect him to. He is a he newspaper is, journalist, a, after all. He's a proper journal, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Um, he, he said... He, he, he used the word substance. Yes. And I thought, God, oh, Connor, that's the word I've been mm. looking for. There's substance about this. We're excited to go to Carrow Road. Yes. Right? It's not all about what's happening on the pitch. Right? We've got the veg patch. That's suddenly working. The soccer box. Of course, someone's found the right setting for the soccer box. By the way, they have. We've got the, the swimming right pool. For the soccer box, haven't they? The swimming pool's working. Force and a manqua. Yeah. Tuesday night does something horrible to his shoulder. Yeah. He's in tears. Yeah. And then Saturday's yeah. fit again. Do you know what? What's that, happened there? I think we need to talk about this swimming pool. This swimming pool <laughs> needs more credit. Do you know what? I'll tell you one thing. It's not a swimming pool. I don't know what's in it. I, but... No, I'll tell you what it is. It's holy water. <laughs> yeah. You're an injured Norwich player, yeah? Yeah. Turns water into wine. Yeah. Yeah. You get in the holy water at Colney and all of a sudden, no more injury. <laughs> no, it's yeah? amazing. No wonder it was so bloody expensive, <laughs> yeah? They've bought the bloody water from Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Yeah. Yeah. So- so everything's really good, and actually, I'm looking at I'm looking at Sergeant right, and yeah. I'm thinking, well, if he gets injured, yeah, one, right. one, it doesn't matter because yeah. he'll get in the holy yeah. water. Yeah. Two, <laughs> two, right? Yeah. And say, see that? Yeah. Stick him up top. Yeah, fine. He'll score. Yeah, absolutely. Excited to see his latent potential come true as well. <sighs> right. Um, Twitter questions. We, what we're not is that what we're doing? I don't know. Well, well, I'll tell you something we should just quickly fly, fly through. So something that I do want to cover, Jack, is the transfer deadline day We've business. Deadline day, yeah, it was course. a busy, busy, it was a busy, busy day for mm. Norwich City fans. So let's fly through things. Okay. First of all, probably the most exciting, I don't, I don't, to be fair, I, I, 
I'm never one to get excited by a That's a youth, a youth, no, 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 a youth <laughs> development signing. Right. Okay. Uh, for me, it's like as you say, yeah. they're going to be marinated, and ultimately, by the time it gets to putting them, you know, on, on the stove, yeah. we've got the wrong bloody chef, and all of a sudden, it's you know, it, yeah. it's been blackened or something. Yeah. Um, Billy G. <laughs> Billy G, he ain't my lover, but he is my bloody Norwich player, I tell you, right? <laughs> Billy he, G feels right? like someone that would send us a Twitter question. Well, let me get you going. Okay. Let me get you going on Billy G, okay? Billy G, <laughs> right. I, th- I, I think Chelsea have made a grave error. Oh. A grave error. Why? They've just let go hmm. their under-21s captain. Right. And Norwich City have signed the Chelsea under-21 captain. Right. That's big. Okay. That's big. Right, okay. So we're right. excited about him. Defender, we? we're excited about him. Yeah. AJ Bridge, I'll be honest with you, I don't know anything about him. Um, I mean, the fact his name's AJ excites me. Yeah, man like AJ. <laughs> AJ Bridge, yeah. Any interest? He's coming from Borough. Then, on the lone exits, Kenna Boge joined Stevenage. Dan, Good move for him. Yeah, and Big Bad Barden, Swindon. Yeah. And Lewis Shipley went to Cheltenham. Right, okay. So that's that's decent. Kenna Boehm, excited about him, and good move. League One, Steve. And of course, I mean, we've waxed lyrical about him all podcasts. Anis Ben Slamani. Well, I think the context around this is interesting as well. It was either mm. Anis Ben Slamani or it was Renier of Real Madrid. That's nuts, isn't it? And Just say that again. Just say it again. I think, is, is, is it Renier? No, no, but just say... Yeah, what... from Real Madrid. He's got like... The, the cra- he's got like 30 million Instagram followers or something crazy. Mental. anyway I was listening to a podcast um, it was, um, Don Paddy and Don Paddy was saying that Real Madrid basically wanted to drive him here they saw Norwich as the future for him they would have basically covered his wages yeah. and we went nah. yeah no 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 Real Madrid uh, can you just wait in the wait yeah. over there we've got Anis Ben Slamati coming in sorry you're not good enough for the holy water no no Brazilian Renier from Real Madrid. Look, no, think, we're Norwich City. I think it's bloody encouraging that there was a there was a Real Madrid player yeah. there, yeah. right? And we and we could and we could have had him. <laughs> could have done. We, and and we went no. We want a passion merchant. <laughs> and do you know what, Ben Napper? I fucking love that from you. <laughs> superb, absolutely. To be superb. fair, the last Brazilian loanee we had. I cannot. Sorry to drop. I genuinely, I didn't look at his age. I cannot get out of my head that Anis Ben Slamani. He's 23. He's 23. How old did you think he was? I honestly thought he was like 35. I know, I know. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be enjoying this chat for about 15 years. Could be a statue. <sighs> anyway, next player um, is, apart from Anis Ben Slamani, is um, Kay Gordon from yes, Liverpool. Yes, interesting one. Redmond TV, the, the boys over there love him. Yeah, and I've been told in terms of his one on his one on ones, excellent. The only challenge that we've got with him is there has been a couple of injuries, That's I think. Okay. But look, I, I think get again, get Cade in the holy water. Mm. Hello, mm. yeah. Maybe that's why he picked Norwich because of the holy water. Yeah, he's seen he's seen Force and Amanqua break his shoulder. Yeah, bought in bought in from Nazareth <laughs> and f- it be fixed in yeah. two days. He's gone. Oh, I'll have a bit yeah. of that. I love it of the Norfolk air. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, K. Gordon, tricky little winger, scored a couple of times for the first team. And you'd games. much rather, and this is the thing, right, that a lot of people, oh, he's injury and da-da-da. I'd much rather K. Gordon than Abu Kamara, 100%. Who, who did K. Gordon make his debut against? I don't know, who did he? Norwich City. Oh, Full I circle. did see that. Full circle. I did see that. Yeah, yes. excited about Gordon. Look, it, it, I think Norwich. He was. Pro- I He's think Norwich ball. probably wanted a permanent signing. Yes. And then, and it was all happening a bit late. So they went went for a loan deal. Cade Gordon, highly rated at Liverpool. Injury issues, of course, are concern. Yeah. But if we can keep him fit, yeah, yeah. I think he'll be a good one. Yeah, I'm totally with you. Yeah. And um, then Abu Kamara. Yeah. Fi- finally buggered off. To yeah. Hull. No, look, delighted for Abu. Gets his dream move to Hull City. Uh, absolutely delighted for him. Has, has forced to move out of a of a playoff chasing um, Norwich City side to go to Hull. Um, look, he had six fantastic months in League One, um, and we've got five million quid for him. Um, I, I, look, I can understand why Abu Kamara was demanding first team football at Norwich City. You know, he had six good months in League One, and uh, and he's been knocking on the door of of, of Johannes Hoftorp trying to get ahead of, uh, of the likes of um, Ben Slamani, who's just been in the Premier League. Um, so yeah, delighted um, for Kamara gets a massive move to Hull, um, and, and I wish him all the best. I can sense some excess there, some expected sarcasm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but again, by five the way, million quid for Abu Kamara. That's a hell of a deal. And a sell-on fee. 
Ben Napper. Ben Napper Masterclass. Take a bow. Um, and then, finishing off with um, Brandon Forbes. Yep. Yeah. And you know what? Not related to Duncan Forbes, but he is an 18-year-old attacker that we signed from Dundee United. And do you know what? I'll have a bit of that. Why not? You know Brandon Forbes? I watched the interview with Brandon Forbes and I thought, yeah, I like too. you. Yeah, me too. I like you. Yeah, me too. He's nearly crying at the thought of joining Norwich yeah. City. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Good. Yeah? Good. I want players, mm. when they sign for Norwich, yeah. in tears of happiness. Yeah? yeah? And that's, that's the impact that we should have on a player. So, yeah, look, I'm really happy that Ben Napper has not only signed players that are making an instant impact yeah. in this Norwich City first team, he's also used the back end of this summer window to improve our academy. Yeah, no, I like it. And, and for me, Brandon Forbes, in terms of XP, he's going to be off the charts. I want to ask a question to you, Jack, before we do the um, X questions, not Twitter questions, X questions. Yep. Who is our best Norwich City signing this Well, I think, I think there's an obvious answer to this. Okay. And, um, and he's probably a loney, yeah. right? So I'll let you have that and you okay, can expand right. on that. I'm going to go slightly left field. Right, you go left field first then. Oscar Schwartow. Really? 18 years old. You think he's our best summer signing? Well, I think there's there's it's context a big around it, right? There's context around, and I think we'll get on to who's looks to be an exceptional um, addition to this squad. He's 18. Mm-hmm. He's already playing and, and making a difference at first team level. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I just think like it's win win for us. It's kind of risk free. We haven't spent much money on him. Johannes Hoftorp's um, worked, him, worked yeah. with him before, and I like that. He's got. It feels like he's got his own identity and, yeah. and players that he knows in the squad now. It goes. It either goes really well, and he helps us get promoted, and he either stays with us and becomes a legend, or we sell him for big money, or it maybe doesn't quite work out, and we've not really lost anything. I really like the look of Schwarta. I think he's physical. I think he's technically sound. Yes, agreed. Um, and I think he's. He, he, he just seems incredibly intelligent. I quite. And I just like the yeah, signing. Yeah, and, and again, I mean, to be fair, much like Ante Sanat, um, it's his build, yeah. it's his stature, and yet he's a very technical player. Mm. And again, you know, Slomane got all of the headlines for all of the right reasons against Coventry, but Oscar Schwartau keeps bubbling under the surface. Yeah, yeah? I just thought he, he came on against Palace. Love it. Came yeah. on against Palace, I thought. And he, he seems quite versatile as well. So that's yours, and mine is probably the same as everyone else's, which is Callum Doyle. Yeah. Callum bloody Doyle. Du, 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 du. The amazing thing with Doyle, Doyle is, is, we obviously chased him for a while, yeah. and he picked Norwich. It, he's, he's incredibly young, mm. but you look at his CV already. Leicester, yeah. promoted. Yeah. Um, Coventry almost Coventry promoted. Coventry almost promoted. And then he was in it was Sunderland, wasn't it? Yes. And he got them promoted out of big one. And the Sunderland fans love him. So you're going, right, he's already had basic... A promotion out of the championship yep. and near enough a yep. promotion and a promotion out of League One and yet he's come to Norwich. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a massive, massive side of intent. I don't know why Why are Man City not playing him. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, seriously, answer that question. Go on. Well, I can't. Well, he's, he's better than both of their centre-backs, isn't he? Well, I don't know. We'll let the commenter, commentators decide that. Callum Doyle. Good he is absolutely the man. I actually think it, it, it does come back to Man City because I think some people will go, oh, why is he not playing in the Premier League? He's got... He's at Man City. He's at Man... No, but I think Man City do see a future for him at the yeah. club. And in terms of the way that Johannes Hoff Tor plays football, yeah, you can there's tie a... parallels to Mr. Mr. Guardiola. That's all I'm saying. Blimey. That's all I'm um, saying. Should we move on to the, the X question? Twitter. Can we can we please call it Twitter? No, because I forgot his someone, name. No, someone said the other no, day, have you no. seen Darren Huckabee's X? Yep. And I'm like, who's Darren Huckabee's X? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is she nice? <laughs> and they meant that his Twitter profile yes. can get you in a lot of trouble, Chris. <laughs> it's X. Um, come on, far away. Let's go, baby. Um, Norwich Lad says, it's taken three seasons. Is his name Norwich Lad? Yeah, Norwich Lad. Norwich lad. Yeah, no. Norwich lad. Class. Norwich lad. Norwich lad says, it's taken three seasons, but in Slomani, we've signed our Ollie Skip replacement for yeah. £1.4 million. Napa has played an absolute mm. blinder. Yep, yeah, couldn't agree more. Yeah. Could not agree I, more. I think, um, yeah, I, it feels like we've been, we had Alex Tete and we lost him, and then we kind of found Ollie Skip and we're like, and then since Ollie Skip, we've not had a player like Ollie Skip. Yeah. Well, welcome, Slomani. Hello. How are you? Let's go, Good baby. to see you. Um, Jeff Mann says, hello, Jeff Mann. He says, a statement. How good is it to see the fans giving a new manager proper support and backing? Even though we lost 4-0 in the cup, 
there was enough on show to prove we were on the right track. Yeah. All we need is a clear plan and identity, and the fans will always get behind. I agree. Yellow. Agree. Yeah, Jeff, man, that's a solid statement. Seventeen hundred fans Tuesday night, Selhurst Park, singing yeah. right until the end. Stay to give all of the players an applause. Yeah. They will appreciate that. Johannes Hofthorpe will appreciate yeah. that. And they can feel it, and they give more. And I keep coming back, Chris, to, to the Kassam. Opening day, it is absolute night and day from what we saw on, on, on that day. And that, I mean, what's yeah. he had a month since I mean, that, to coach I mean, that was just, just a, remarkable. That was the Johnny Ray freak situation, wasn't it? Mm. Um, uh, this walk, is a good one. Yeah, go on. Harry Brister. Well Here done, Harry. Hello, Harry. At the risk of rewriting the football <clears throat> stat book, Right. We've got XG, yeah. XGA, and yeah. we've obviously created XP. XP, yeah. How about XFA? XFA? Expected fan arousal. <laughs> <laughs> Two moments on Saturday would have peaked that gauge <laughs> in Doyle and Slomani. Have a bit of that. Expected fan arousal. Yeah, yeah, I love you know, that I, from Harry. Yeah, Harry, I, I do like that. I think we might need to add that to our repertoire. XFA. We are leading statistics. Look, Harry, let's just work on that a bit longer. We need to sort of develop that. Yeah. Um, XP cemented in there now. Let's get that a little bit further down the line. Yeah. I think we can bleed in XFA. The marinade's on. We've stuck it in the fridge. The oven's heating the, up. The thing is with XFA is that it comes off the back of XP. They're intertwined. Yeah, no, this is my point. Yeah, yeah. so if you've got high XP, you've probably got very high XFA. Yeah, you can't have Holt without Houlihan. 100%. Know? Yeah, no, totally with you. Um, Liz Howlett, hello, Liz. Hello, Liz. Um, says, never fall in love with a lone player. I think come May 2025, Norwich City need to set up a helpline because I'm <laughs> feeling bad. There you go. I'm falling bad, sorry. Liz is falling mm. in love with Callum Doyle. And you can't blame her, can you? It's, you know, you, you've fallen in love with someone that you know is a bit too good for mm. you. But you just yeah. you just try to make it last, and and you you know at some point they're going to go. What am I doing with you? Yeah, like, cities over there. Make the most of that. So enjoy it while you can. Yeah, better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Let's try and do a few. Let's 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 let's, let's, let's enjoy it. Last week I, I mixed it up and I did some quick fire um, comments to try and get through as many fans as possible. So let's try and do it again. Uh, John Sherritt says, I love the JHT made changes early. Slamane and Schwartal were excellent and signs looked like he can reach new levels this season with JHT at the wheel. By the way, we've not even spoken about the Borja signs, right? Absolutely mm. brilliant. Um, Arthur Kemp's statement, Johannes Hofturup and Ben Napper are taking us places, OTBC. Uh, oh. I know, it's, it's happening, isn't it? Uh, Ashley Barnes, I think this is a uh, Barnes enjoyer. It's one of those fan accounts. Uh, I think we're going up this season. Too many tackles are getting me going. <laughs> Barnes is getting the golden boot. Not sure I'd go that far. But, um, yeah, look, look, the point I've, is, Jack, I've there's got a, so much positivity in the comments right now. I've got a corking one here from Onil Hernandez is right peg. Right, right. okay, come on then. <laughs> What's he saying? He's got a poem. A poem? A poem. A poem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Hoff's boys are going up. Mighty Norwich to the top. Says a man that is named Thorup, partying away in the bus rooftop. Till the night in the crack of dawn, loving Hoff like a Danish poor. And then he says, now take every letter at the start of each line and line them up. Right. Hoff's boys are going up. H. Yeah. yeah. Mighty Norwich to the top. M. Says a man that is named Thorup. S. <laughs> Partying away in the bus rooftop. P. <laughs> till, till the night in the crack of dawn. T. Loving Hoff like a Danish poor. L. HMS PTL. Congratulations. <laughs> ONL's right peg. You have won the comment of the TNC podcast. Congratulations. HMS PTL. Stick that in your bio. Get it on in your trophy cabinet. That's a belter. We've never had poems before. No. There you go. And the, and the hats. The hats. Just saying. The hats are calling. They're there. The hats are calling. Um, Jack Wright. Hello, Jack. Rave. Johannes Hofturup. Just when you think he couldn't get any better, he gets so much better. Half time proactive, game changing subs. And of two signings to show no favouritism, honest reaction to why, even when asked about Kenny, presser answers are a dream. Can someone please calm me down? No, Jack. I'm not going to calm you down. And I'm not going to calm any fucking Norwich fan down. <laughs> Do you know what I say? Get lively. Enjoy this. <laughs> Drink this feeling in. It's a long... The championship season is a long slog, right? Mm. When you win a game of football, enjoy it. It's brilliant. And I'm totally with Jack. 
We've already spoken about the subs. Yeah. And actually, um, what I would pick up off the back of Jack's comment, Jack, is mm -hmm. Johannes of Turup in his press, there's no beating around the bush. No, 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 straight shooter. Yeah. You know what I loved? He's and just I, so honest. You know, what I you know what I really loved at the weekend? Come on. And I shouldn't have loved it. But you did. Johannes of Turup basically calling Forsen Amankwa and Ante Sienat's shit. I don't, oh wow, I wouldn't go that. I wouldn't go that far. Well, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but he was like, they weren't good enough. Yeah. I told them that. Fine. And I subbed them. Yeah. I good. still love them. Yeah. A bit of tough love. Yeah. Good. Oh God, I loved it. Yeah, no, I'm because guess what, Chris Reeve? I see something in Ante Sienats. I look at him and yeah. I think, yeah, a bit of a player there. Yeah, me too. I'm me seeing, too. I'm, I think he's got a bit of Sergeant syndrome. Okay, first A little bit out of position. I but, don't think he's a right winger. By the way, he's come to a foreign country, yeah. adapting to like the language. Him. Give him time. Ante Sienat oh, is a player. No, there. I agree. I agree with that. And I have heard some rumblings. And let's lower the tone a little bit. The Norwich oh. SAS. Who is the best signing? Oh, well, sorry, we have answered that. But then he says, has Hanley played his last game? Still Norwich captain, right? Yes. How was... He wasn't even in the squad at the weekend, was he? Yeah. And, that, and apparently, though, it was it was an injury-related okay. thing. Look, I think... Look, I actually... I, I'm, I'm never really going to disrespect Grant Hanley because I, I, I think he, like, I like him. Okay. But is he better than Cordoba? No. Well, hang, well, hang on. And I'm a... Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold your... Hang on. Whoa. Okay. I love Jose Cordoba. Love him. Like, I, for me, he gets me going more than any Norwich player. Yeah. Okay. But... We, we don't we haven't seen enough of Cordoba yet for you to say oh he's definitely better player. okay so let me In ask, let me ask you a question come on okay Duffy's injured yep you can either pick Hanley or Cordoba to start against Doyle Cordoba there you go okay so what I'm saying is I think Hanley's now got a very very tough job to get back into mm. the side he played against Palace and I didn't think he was great and I think that was a big moment because then not in the squad. Yeah. Look, look it Saturday. could have been a sliding doors moment, but I think my message around Hanley is let's be let's, let's be, be kind. Let's be kind. Let's be really respectful as well, and let's remember that the lad's got two title-winning medals around his neck. He's been good for Norwich. Right? So let's let's put He's a been little good bit. Let's be a little bit respectful, right? Um, Roro says rave. Anis Ben Slamani immediately turning to the crowd and giving the air a good bash at the blow of the whistle at full time. Ho, yeah. ho, he's going to be energetic for us. Well, that. And, and, and that, Onel Hernandez is right, Peg is back after his oh, poem. Jesus he says, 30% right, he? of the world is land, the rest is covered by Anis Ben Slamani. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Facts don't care about feelings. Yeah. That is very, very true. Very, very true. Um... Harry's his statement, we need to go up just to get the money to buy Doyle. Harry, honestly, I'll say this. I think even if we go up, it's another bet it's enough Ben Slimani. Sorry, I just can't I can't stop thinking about Slim <laughs> Slimane. I fucking love I love Slimani right now. The Tunisian tackler. And I am having dreams, right, of Oh, wanna dance with Slimani. <laughs> it's just going round and round my head that chant. Um what am I saying, Slimani? No, no, no. Um, even, even, even if, and it is a huge if, we go up. I don't think we'll sign Doyle. I just don't. I think I'm, he's, so, I'm, I think so, I'm he, so sorry, but he. What is he? How much is he? Well, I think he, I think he's a future Mount City starter. Uh, I, I reckon he's already a thirty million pound oh, player. Easy. Uh, this is my point. Right? Easy. Very tough, especially because he's English. Price goes up. Naughty Nunez. Pardon? Yeah, Naughty Nunez is in, is in the comments. There's a statement from Naughty Nunez. Club needs to do all they can to bring jo Doyle in permanently next summer. Again, he says, Doyle, uh, don't fall in love with a lone player, but I can't resist. Love the dirty challenges. No, 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 Naughty Nunez. They're not dirty. They're, they're legal. <laughs> they're very legal. There's just a little bit of meat on the bone, mm. but they're not dirty. They're not yeah. dirty. Um, Mark Cowboy says, I really Who? like Mark Cowboy. I really like Johannes Torp and the Napa partnership. Yep. The first one speaks really well, and I love every interview. Yep. Meanwhile, Ben doesn't take any bullshit from no one. <laughs> if a player wants to leave, have to bring the money. Yep. And the recruitment looks good too. Well done to the Athanasios. Yeah, uh, yeah, at this stage, we don't know all of the context and detail as to how much help. The Athanasias are uh, giving, of course, of, of, of the Norfolk. Well, group. they brought them in. I'm very excited by that. Uh, I really, really am. By the way, here, this will make you laugh. Right? I'm doing Canary Call uh, for the Coventry game. Brilliant yeah. show. Went really well because obviously there's lots of positivity. People are calling up feeling positive because we've just won the game football. Anyway, that's a sidetrack. And um, 
we missed. Um, everyone sends in social media posts, but the other way you can contact Canary Call is on WhatsApp or message, right? right? After the show finishes, I'm getting in the car, going home. I get a message through from Chrissy G, right? And he says to me, um, we've had a message through. Can you verify it for me? I was like, what are you talking about? Verify? What, what are you talking about, Chrissy G, right? It's from Mark Atanasio. Wow. So Mark has WhatsApped yeah. BBC Radio Norfolk, <laughs> right. and we've ignored it. <laughs> What did he say? We just we, we, we just didn't know it was him, right? <laughs> um, and I actually put it on my um, I'll put it on my X account, and I'll and I'll quickly read it for he you. He texted and he said, "We've just got the money to sign Callum Doyle permanently." Oh, could you love the afternoon? Do you know what? Yes. I fucking love it if he did that. I would absolutely love it. Um, no, he said, uh, "Drum roll." Uh, Mark Asnazi said, "I want to thank our supporters for their pa- passion." Is that what he said? I want to thank our supporters for their passion during this transfer window. Wow. Great to be on this new journey, Mark Asnazio. Oh. The fact he signs off his WhatsApps, demands respect, yeah. loves passion. Yeah. And the fact that he put passion in there, God, that's good news. <laughs> Keep going, come on. Um, uh, was that uh, a sidetrack? A little bit, but that's oh, fine. Um, NCFC Zeb oh, right, yeah. uh, says, um, What's Zeb oh, he lives saying? in Martham, that's where I went to school. Lovely village. Um, after the games we've been, after the games we've seen so far this season, what would be your starting eleven? Also, love listening to the pod and Canary Call. Thanks, Zeb. Uh, you lead. Uh, Angus Gunn. Yeah. Ben Crescene. Yeah. Callum Doyle. Yeah. Cordova. From what we've seen at the moment, Shane Duffy. But you, yeah. But up for change. Yeah. Jack Stacey. Yeah. Kenny McLean. Yeah. Marcelino Nunes. Yeah. Forson Amanqua. Yeah. Um, I would, I, do you know? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang can, on. Can I put something into the room here? Yeah. I love Nunez. Right. I'm wondering whether you fancy a little bit of Slomane in his position. That. I was just thinking that. Do you fancy a little bit of that? Like, let's just, let's, let's, let's start with Slomane. Yeah. Let's bully the fuck out of anyone that comes for us. <laughs> yeah. Then, half time comes. Yeah. You bring on naughty Nunez. Right. Okay, yeah, no, I'm up for that. Yeah. And then you run them ragged. He just twists and turns and they just can't stop it. Oh, God, this is actually... A Mr. Lovely Jubbly himself. Got confusing. Boar Science definitely starts. Sergeant, of course, starts. Sergeant starts. So yeah. then you've got Sinatz or Hernandez. Yeah, I, look, I think... Or... Well, I think... Gordon. Ooh. Chuck that into the I, mix. I actually think... I'm going to put this into the room. Okay. I think Anel was quite unlucky not to start against Coventry, actually. Arnell's been good so far I think far he's looked season. really good this season. Yeah. Um, but look, I think... But what Anthony... a weapon to have off the bench. Yeah, tell me about it. A weapon of mass yeah, destruction. I was going to say. What about this from... Uh... Oh, have we finished the team? I think we were I think maybe we a player it. short. Were we? Uh... Don't know. I think what we saw... Were we a player short? We got to ask know. Schwart out. Does he start? I think suddenly you've got a little bit of depth. And I yeah. think... Ooh, do what you? we saw against Coventry... Is probably going to also start the next game. The interesting one is now around Slomane yeah. and, and whether he starts. Yeah. Because do you drop a Mankwa out for oh, Slomane? Sorry, we forgot a Mankwa Forson. How can we forget a Mankwa? The man that's dipped in the holy water. Um, yeah, maybe that's what I do. I, but I Mankwa's been great. Yeah, I know, but I think it was too it was too soon after his injury. I think yeah. in terms of his mobility, maybe I think he was maybe conscious of that. And actually, I, I think it depends. On I love him though. It I depends love on opposition because against Sheffield United was I think some forcing up right at the moment. Brilliant for the goal. Yeah. But also was kind of at fault for the other goal. There's mistakes in him. There's brilliance uh, in him. I yeah. think there's a little bit more certainty. But it's first moment. season. No, 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 I'm not blaming him. No, no, I know you're not. And, and I think just all Norwich fans like let's let's try not to. Let, let's just back the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ante Sanats, Forson, Stacey. If there's anyone that's had a, you know, a bit of a shaky game, like, let's, let's support them. All right. Mm. What are these from Lee Jones, right? Anis Ben Slamane, the Tunisian tackler. <laughs> that could be his new nickname. I think, that's, Tunisian his, tackler, I think yeah. that's his new nickname. Yeah. TT, Tunisian tackler. Oh, well, we haven't had a TT since Tommy Tribal. Oh, yeah. And oh. he was a tough tackler. Oh, he was. Oh. It's meant to be. It's Lee meant Jones, to be. bang on. New nickname for Ben Slim- Anis Ben Slimani is what? By the way, why are we pronouncing his middle name as well? Because that is a Tunisian he, thing. Because or? he deserves it. Okay. He's so good. He's got yeah. three names. Fine. 
Um, you can start calling me Christopher Peter Reeve if you want. Give me my full name. Um, CPR. The Tunis- CPR. Never realised that. Yeah. Bringing you back to life, man. <laughs> That's why you're still on the bloody podcast. They keep bringing you back. I never realised that. Right, anyway, the Tunisian tackler. What a beefcake that is all. Right, I'll tell you you what, bloody. Right, here you go. And I love a beefcake. Hashtag of the podcast. If you've watched and listened up to this point, prove it. Prove it. Yeah, come on, prove it. Get it in the comments. Get it on social media. Prove it. Hashtag Tunisian tackler. That is the po- that is the hashtag of this podcast. Hashtag Tunisian Tackler. Tag us at Talk North City. I'll share all of them as a thanks for your support. Chris, we've got an emergency. What? Whoa. We need to calm Jack Wright down. Right? Why? Have we already read out Jack Wright's yes, comment? We have. But did we calm him down? <laughs> yes, I think we did. Are you sure we calmed him down? <laughs> I love the fact you've forgotten. What well, is? Uh, we have answered that question. Um, we have, I promise you, I promise you. Jack, we have, we have. I just saw it and I got really excited, Jack. Um, what about this from Jake? From Jack to Jake. Statement. Oh, I want to dance with Slimani. I want to feel the heat with Slimani. Yeah, I want to dance with Slimani. With Slimani, who loves me? I remember... Um... By the way, let's talk about Slimani's cello. We always do this. What is Slimani's celebration? Well, I think I think we've actually seen a sneak peek of it. No. Do you think? Yeah. You no, know I I think there's going to be something different. Do you? Yeah. I look. Of course, there's going to be passion. We're yeah. expecting passion. I think he's a corner flag kicker. I think he's going to boot a corner flag. Yeah, fine. In fact, I think he might snap the corner flag. I'm going to put a little bet on that. Okay. When Anis Ben Slimani scores his first goal, he's going to snap the corner flag at the snake pit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'd quite like him to do that actually? Just, just because why not? Go over, passion, pull the pull the crest. Obviously, kiss it as well. That always works. That always goes down well. Give it a punch if you want. I want him to take the corner flag out of the snake pit corner, and I want him to shoot everyone. <laughs> just, just mix it up. Just mix it up. Or, or another one. Get the corner flag. Yeah. And I don't know, play golf with it. Yeah. Or just you know, just just use the or, corner flag. Or or knight someone. Knight. Oh oh yes yes. Oh, I fucking love that from you. Yeah. Right. Here's what he's gonna do. He's gonna take the corner flag yeah. out, and he's gonna knight whoever has given him the yes. assist. Yes. That's genius. Let's have a bet, right? Come on. Twenty quid to Big C. Yep. Yeah. If it if his first celebration is corner flag related. Yeah. I give them twenty quid. Yeah. And not. if it's not, you give them twenty quid. Deal. Okay. Uh, yeah. Deal. Big C. Okay. So corner flag related bet. Um, Come on, Slimani. Uh, final one. Come on then. Um, from probably something about winning the league. Um, anything from anyone? No. Oh, okay. There's just I've seen a bit there's there. a lot. Um, there's a lot, Chris, of positivity. Yeah, and actually, but, no. But final good. one. Come. On. Uh, and the Oscar for the best Danish wonder kid goes to. Shh, I've lost it. Hang on. Oscar oh, Sforza. God, that was so good. Fill some time and I'll find Oscar Schwartau. Oh, I see the name link there. Is that it? Is and it the Oscar for the best Danish Wonder Kid goes to yeah. Schwartau. Yeah, brilliant. See if you can get that on camera. Go in the comments and find yeah. that. That's a brilliant little graphic, by the way. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and listening to the podcast. Oh, Talk it's Nurses good to podcast. be happy again, isn't it? It really is. Oh. And don't forget to get your TNC merch descriptions You're modelling it beautifully, man. Um, Borja Signs loves it, so you will too. Yeah. Um, there's Oasis related NC- definitely NCFC so if you're an Oasis fan you're in the right place at the right bloody time let me tell you that for free yep. there's so much new clubber on there you can also the mugs are nice pick yourself up a new Talk Night City mug yep. so when you're watching the podcast you have a little sip you can do that um, here we go here we something's happening go. something's happening oh, happening to me oh what a dance and it's Ben Slamane oh, I want to feel the heat with Slamane thanks for watching everyone yeah, Have a good one. Yeah, what a dance.